don't want to get corona. I don't want to get it. Make sure to do what doctors told you. I'm going to cough in the rack. Not going to sneeze in my hand. I won't touch my eyes. My eyes. How you can produce your hand sanitizers. All you need is more than 60% of ethanol. Okay? Like I have here is 95% ethanol, which is almost 100%. Ethanol, 95%. This is a, what you have here is a, a measuring cylinder. You want to make 70% concentration of ethanol in a hand sanitizer. What you do is you put this, uh, uh, as I said, it's 95% ethanol, almost 100%. So I'm going to put it at uh, 70 as you can see, 70, add this ethanol to the 70% mark of 70. Okay. You can see it is as a 70. As you can see, 10, 30, 50, 70. 290 and 1. So one one zero, you you get hundred at this max. So we want to is to fill this thing up to this place using a carboma as a thickener and a glycerol as a humectant. Just like I said before, a carboma is a thickener to make it thick, and uh, glycerol is a humectant. A humectant is a uh, a, a, a chemical that prevents drying that will keep your hand moisturized. So you have 70 ml of ethanol added to this measuring cylinder. The one you need to add now to make it up to 100 ml is any humectant of your choice. You can make use of glycerol, you can make use of um, of um, uh, olive oil, you can make use of coconut oil, uh, depending on the one that's available. But in commercial industries, in industries, uh, what they use is a uh, glycerol, okay, to help moisturize your hand and pre prevent your hand from drying up, from drying as a result of alcohol. I have some of the products you can get in the market, like this. You can see how thick it is. You can see how thick it is as you can see it's how thick it is it's, the thickness is as a result of carboma which is a, a thickening agent added to this ethanol you can compare this with this okay I can compare this it doesn't shake like that because it, it helps you to thicken so that it will be easy to if you want to make use of it it will be easier for you to bring it out like this and rub your hand you know so the, the actual thing that is happening there the actual thing needed there is the ethanol as the active ingredient and this is another product yes you can guess how thick it is so it's as, as a result of the thickener added which is carboma in this case and the, the, uh, in, inside it they added um a humectant they used glycerol as a humectant but you may not get that available uh, uh, from a local shop like that is the, because these are industrial chemicals but you can get uh, get your hands on ethanol you are good to go you can use um olive oil or coconut oil that can you can get that anywhere once the ethanol is above 60 percent it is effective in killing any virus okay especially this um coronavirus you can apply it directly in your hand Use it like this is it. this ethanol. It's a uh, you can see that right again. You can rub it in your hand, rub it in your hand. If you apply it directly, you can make use of a Vaseline. And can you see that? That's all you need. You don't need to start rushing, look for hand sanitizers if you, if you can get any, any one. Just get ethanol alternatively in order to keep your hands 
free from the virus. Yeah, and you, you don't want to go through the process of ethanol and hand sanitizers and all that. You can wash your hand. 20 seconds, mark it, 20 seconds of washing your hands. Let me show you how. You apply your soap, your little soap, or any soap you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That should be twenty seconds. Then on nose masks, if you don't know how to uh, make use of nose mask it's advisable that you you avoid it you know because a lot of people will be infected or could many people contract this virus through wrong use of nose mask if you go to, to the supermarket to buy this they may tell you one one packet 10,000 15,000 20,000 so do, they want to exploit the masses they want to exploit you because of the uh, situation on ground and sometimes it might even be out of stock so but if you have it i want to use it maybe want to go outside or you have the virus itself is is advisable you use nose mask to prevent uh, infection and to prevent you from sharing it to everybody you know and if you don't have it if you don't have the if you don't have the virus already uh, maybe if you're going to a supermarket or going to the market to buy stuffs you may need it or they might tell you to use one before you enter so that's you may need it so what you do is this you cover your nose and mouth that's it there are things you need to avoid like people make this mistake some will just draw it like this this is very wrong <laughs> this is very wrong like, let's assume that some of the uh, virus, uh, some of them are here, and you drag it to this place. It, it, this is touching your mouth. This, this is very wrong. Uh, it's wrong. Simply remove it. When you are done with, you know, nose mask, simply go here and remove it. Okay? Remove it and throw it away. Don't use it again. You know, some people have that drop in, they'll, they'll take it back again and they cover their nose no, 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 throw it away throw it away, unless you have something to sterilize this Dro throw it away uh, in the trash can uh, don't keep it where people will come contact with it throw it straight away in the, in the trash can, you know sanitize your hand with alcohol then after that you make use of this to lubricate your hand or if you had a hand sanitizer that you bought in the market you can apply it and then uh, probably this already has his um, humectant inside already so you don't need to apply this unless it's applying this effect is, is drying your hand so you can make use of the vaseline to prevent hand dryness you don't need those masks if you are not coughing or sneezing and if you're not a health worker taking care of somebody suffering from this coronavirus stop wasting nose mask but if you must use one use it appropriately in case you don't have nose mask what to do uh, all i have there is a is a hank a hanky or a, a little cloth you can do something like this all right and then and mind before you make use of a nose mask try to get your hands sanitize with an alcohol based sanitizer and if you don't have uh, this uh, i've told you what to do because anything alcohol based like uh, with at least 60 percent concentration of alcohol above and above kills the virus so by is above 60 percent you are good to go just use it and clean your hand and uh, you can make use of then something like uh, vaseline to lubricate your hand to prevent skin dryness all right because alcohol is the drying agent it will dry up the skin so you need to always lubricate your hand to to prevent skin damage now after sanitizing your hand then you can do something like this
then you tie it two times at the back so that it won't loose. Okay? This is a perfect nose mask, right? You don't need to waste your money buying nose mask and all that, you know. If some people are, are exploiting uh, uh, others, you know, all these marketers, this opportunity to exploit people due to the rush for nose masks and all that, okay? Don't waste your money buying all the stuff, okay? And then if you must buy them, know that it's only necessary if you are coughing or sneezing, maybe you want to protect yourself, protect others. So you cover your nose and mouth to prevent uh, exposing people to this uh, virus, okay? Or maybe you are taking care of someone who has the virus already, okay? Or, uh, you know, or you are very close to somebody who is coughing or sneezing. So if not, if not, there's no need for, for, your, for using those masks. Don't waste it. There's scarcity of nose masks. But if you don't have nose masks, you can do something like this, okay? If you want to remove it, simple thing. You untie it as you tie it. Okay? Let me see if I can see that. So avoid this hand touching your face. Okay, so you have to go and wash this thing immediately. Okay, and get another one. Okay, you get another handkerchief. You can use again and wash this one first. Then you dry it and you can make use of it again. Instead of uh, wasting your money or wasting resources getting this and you know how they do in the market once a uh, situation like this they keep put the, the price very high this of this this should be maybe one like this should, should be more than 100 naira but they'll be selling it <laughs> they can sell it 1000 naira trust people you understand so you don't waste your money or panic about it you know nothing to panic about okay you can make your nose mask that's the same thing get your hands cleaned and sanitized avoid touching your face if you can do this thing, like you can this, do these two things, don't touch your face and always wash your hands regularly or sanitize your hand with alcohol based sanitizer. Let me emphasize alcohol based sanitizer. So far, it's above 60%. You are good to go. If, if you want to avoid coronavirus, you avoid it. So it's not, it's not something that you must get okay it's not something you must get if you want to get it you'll get it if you don't want to get it you'll get it okay so if you can maintain three feet distance from people especially people coughing and sneezing avoid touching your face and wash your hands or disinfect your hands regularly have, have a little container put some alcohol in it and put it in your pocket anywhere you are so that you can easily use it to sanitize your hand especially whenever you touch any surface because you don't know whether there's a virus or not you don't know whether there's some viruses on top of the surface there so because it can last for days on surfaces like so it's a, it's a very a stubborn uh, virus you know so you have to get prepared you know always this coronavirus it is denser than air because of that it doesn't last long in the air Right. Let me assume that um, this uh, these things are this uh, this this a piece, piece of tissue paper. Uh, let's assume is let's assume it's coronavirus. Okay, and I coughed or I sneezed. I sneezed. <sighs> you can see that. So within within one hour, it can last in the air, and with time, it will rest on the surfaces. There's a need for routine sanitization of your tables, office desk, okay, so to sanitize in case of any virus that dropped on it. So what do you do about it? The same ethanol, alcohol. I have a tissue paper, have a tissue paper, or a cotton wool. Just pour in some, and what? Clean. And just clean the surface, okay? Or clean any anything you want to sanitize you can make use of this same alcohol by doing this the fire whatever virus there is gone okay so far it is more than 60 percent alcohol 60 percent in concentration okay if you want to cough or sneeze you you have to use your hand to block the droplets from going out maybe like this using your elbow or Better still use a tissue paper 
want to sneeze or cough, you take a tissue paper like this and <coughs> oh, you understand? So the droplets will rest here and there you go and dispose appropriately. Prevent spreading this virus to people. Okay? Don't be selfish. Thank you very much. We're on the